Let me tell you something you already know. This is Dave Kirloff, and I'm going to talk about hitting. Over the past 18 months, I've dedicated the research and the studies I've been doing with hitting primarily on the aspects of vision and timing the vision. And quite honestly, I am fascinated by what's going on and what we're learning inside our laboratory and research center. Let's face it, the most organic way to look at hitting is from this perspective. Hitting is a timed visual reaction. It is that simple. When you compare baseball and softball to other athletic actions that happen in sports like football, how a football player reacts to a pass, in tennis, how a tennis player reacts to a ball in tennis, um, soccer, how a soccer player reacts to a moving ball on the ground. Players are really reacting to the moving object, the ball, visually. The body follows what the eyes are leading it to do. Someone who follows our system very closely is Bob Barata, baseball agent, attorney, and super dad. I love it when dads and coaches like Bob Barata send me clips of their, their sons or daughters or even like little news snippets that validate what we're teaching. And something that Coach Bob sent me that I use all the time is this. Approximately 70% of all sensory fibers to the brain begin in the eye. And once you're hitting with an identified dominant eye, it becomes even more sensitive to realize how powerful your eyes are working for your swing. And the fascinating part about this is, is not having great vision, although it's going to help you, but my studies have shown me that players with even poor vision, once they master how to time their eyes and time their vision, can still hit line drives. Heck, I've even taken players' glasses off their faces and asked them to hit when not using their glasses and they still can hit the ball, still square it up. In fact, they may hit better without the glasses because now they're more desensitized of the hitter's angst and antsiness and they're more sensitive to their vision with no glasses on. The main point I want to drive home to you is this. If you're listening to this message, I know you're a dedicated player, you're a dedicated coach, you're passionate about what you're doing. The concepts I present to you in the best hitting drill ever video series and the world's greatest hitting formula video series is the most organic way, it's the most natural way to teach hitters, to become elite hitters. As we get closer to the start of another baseball and softball season, I do this specific drill for hitters. And it's, it's even good for hitters to do in season and all it is 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 pitching batting practice from a real game perspective where I pitch pitches fastballs curveballs and changeups and they're unannounced when you put a hitter in this type of setting when they don't know what pitch is coming it's an unpredictable environment this is the setting that's really close to the game so guess what how are they responding to that pitch are they responding to the pitch that's not identified uh, when it's coming out uh, with their hips, their shoulders? Well, well, certainly they are, and that's all the mechanical training that we do. And we tell the players, you know what, you do it uh, hundreds of times, and then when you get into an unpredictable environment, this response is going to come out. But when you do this type of drill, you throw fastballs, curveballs, and changeups unannounced, or even rise pitches for, for, so for softball, is that what's amplified is the hitter's ability to respond to the ball visually. When our hitters are taught that the concept of hitting really rests inside their minds and how they, they have to be sensitive to their vision, they have to be sensitive that hitting is a race. There's a starting point and there's an end point. That inside this race, I'm using control factors like the pitcher's common denominator to time myself with his body, not his release point. All these things culminate to the hitter and now they have a database of information. So when they go to home plate, this is what the central part of hitting is, that they can organize their vision and they can organize it to in terms of a race. They hit tremendously better. 
Again, hitting is a visual reaction. And more than just that, hitting is a timed visual reaction. I think it's time that you get on board. Order the best hitting drill ever, the fourth edition, or make the big jump and get the world's greatest hitting formula. You're going to love this system and so are your players. Let's help our kids to be as good as they can be while they're still young. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. May the Lord bless you.